there's no reason to age, okay? I'm not liquor. I'm not hard liquor. Everybody stopped in their tracks and watched her as she passed by. She was completely stunning. But something went incredibly wrong, and that's the tragedy of one of the most ex-beautiful Hollywood stars, Janice. In the 70s and 80s, Janice Dickinson was known for her stunning looks. With dark hair and striking red lips, she was incredibly successful, even making it onto the covers of Vogue magazine 37 times. A huge deal. But as time passed, Dickinson didn't want to accept getting older. Instead of going with the flow of aging, she chose to have cosmetic surgeries to keep looking young. She also appeared in reality TV shows like I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here, and Celebrity Big Brother. On these shows, it was pretty clear that she had a lot of work done. Some people thought she started to look quite different from her younger self, almost like she was becoming a different person because of all the surgeries. She had many procedures, including getting her breasts and tummy done and facelifts. She tried a lot of things to stay looking young. Janice faced a tough time when the TV show botched, where doctors tried to fix cosmetic surgeries that didn't go as planned. Janice went on the show because she was having trouble with her breast implants, which she got about 20 years ago. They were causing her discomfort and didn't look right anymore. The doctors in the show, Dr. Paul Nassif and Dr. Terry Dubrow, work on fixing such problems. When Janice went to see them, Dr. Dubrow discovered she needed new implants and even found two masses during surgery, which luckily turned out to be harmless. After the show, it turns out Janice had a lot more going on in her life. Before botched, she was struggling financially and had to declare bankruptcy, owing a lot of money for surgeries and back taxes. Despite these challenges, Janice has made a big comeback. She's been on several reality TV shows, found love, and got married to Dr. Robert Gurner, a psychiatrist, in 2016. She even planned to join I'm a Celebrity South Africa, but had to leave the show because of a head injury. Nowadays, she's doing much better and is active online, sharing beauty tips and personal updates. She also had a scare with breast cancer in 2016, but has since recovered and is focusing on her health. Later on, she showed up at a fashion event in West Hollywood looking different again, but this time, she looked more like her natural self. It seemed like she might be trying to find a middle ground, a way to be happy with her appearance without so much surgery. It looked like she was on a journey to find what makes her feel good about herself, which is something a lot of us can relate to. Bridget Fonda was a big name in Hollywood, known for her stunning looks and roles in famous movies like The Godfather Part 3, Single White Female, Point of No Return, and Jackie Brown. People couldn't forget her because of her unique beauty. What's more impressive is she started acting very young, at just five years old, in Easy Rider, appearing with her dad, Peter Fonda. With her talent, she was even nominated for big awards like the Golden Globes and Emmys, showing just how good she was at acting. In 2003, everything changed when she married Danny Elfman, a famous music composer known for creating some of the most memorable movie scores. The couple first crossed paths in the movie set of A Simple Plan, but it wasn't until years later that they started dating. They got married in a ceremony attended by close family, and in 2005, they welcomed their son Oliver into the world. This marked a new chapter in Bridget's life, as she chose to step back from the bright lights of Hollywood to focus on her family. Their life together was private, only giving the public small peeks into their world, like during their annual Christmas gatherings. By 2021, they decided to move away from the bustling life in Los Angeles to a quieter, more secluded place in Santa Barbara. This move was partly influenced by the global pandemic, which saw them seeking refuge in the ranch, making it the primary residence. During this time, Danny spoke about the isolation they faced, missing the larger family gatherings that were a big part of their lives. Bridget's decision to leave acting wasn't sudden. It followed a serious car accident in 2003 that left her with a back injury. This incident, along with her marriage and the birth of her son, led her to prioritize her personal life over her career. She had always valued privacy, even before stepping away from acting, which contrasts with her family's openness. Her husband, Danny, has continued with his music career and is more active in sharing his work and some personal moments in social media. When Bridget Fonda does appear in public these days, it surprises many people because she looks quite different from her younger self. Time has changed her, as it does to everyone, but there's something special about how she's handling it. Bridget has decided to age naturally, not worrying too much about trying to look forever young like many others in Hollywood do. This decision is really admirable and quite bold, considering how much emphasis there is on looks in the entertainment world. Her choice to live life on her terms, focusing on her family and personal happiness rather than staying in the limelight, is something that not many people expect from a celebrity. Back in the 80s, Kelly McGillis became really famous for her role in Top Gun as Charlie, the teacher for the pilots. Acting alongside Tom Cruise, she became a big part of what people loved about pop culture from that time. Kelly had a way of being on screen that really grabbed your attention. 
She was confident and just right for her role, making her memorable to anyone who saw the movie. Kelly has experienced significant changes in her life and career over the years. Now in her 60s, she has openly talked about her physical changes, including weight gain and wrinkles, which are natural parts of aging. Despite these changes, she has maintained a steady career with roles in various films and TV shows, including horror movies like Stakeland and The Innkeepers, and television appearances in The L World and Z Nation. McGillis has also taken roles in independent films and participated in made-for-TV movies such as An Uncommon Grace and Maternal Secrets. McGillis's personal journey has been as eventful as her professional one. She has been married and divorced twice and has two daughters. In 2009, she publicly came out as gay and has since shared her experiences of coming to terms with her sexuality. She has also dedicated part of her life to teaching acting and helping others through her work as a drug rehabilitation counselor, drawing from her own struggles with substance abuse. One of the big things people noticed was that Kelly wasn't in the new Top Gun movie that came out. Some people think this might be because of how much her appearance has changed. It's sad because her role in the first Top Gun movie is something a lot of people still remember and love. Kelly McGillis' experience shines a light on how tough Hollywood can be on actors as they get older, especially when it comes to looks. While she was known for her talent and became famous for a role many people still talk about, the fact that she looks different now has sparked a lot of conversations. These discussions aren't just about Kelly, but about the bigger picture of how we see aging and beauty, especially in movies and TV. Despite the challenges, Kelly McGillis has chosen to be open and accepted herself as she is, which is really brave. She's living her life, knowing that getting older is part of everyone's journey. Daryl Hannah, who became famous for playing the lovable mermaid Madison in the fun movie Splash by Ron Howard, really won over fans. She didn't just stop there. She was in a bunch of great movies like Roxanne, Steel Magnolias, and really make a mark in action-filled Kill Bill movies. But if you look at pictures of Daryl from recently, you might notice she doesn't look exactly like she did back when she was Madison. What's interesting is that Daryl has been very open about not wanting to have any cosmetic surgery. She's even said she's too scared to have any surgeries unless it's absolutely necessary for her health. It's a strong stance, especially in Hollywood, where there's a lot of pressure to always look perfect. But there is a bit of mystery around her because some people who know a lot about cosmetic procedures think they've spotted small signs that she might have had some work done, even though she's said she hasn't. This makes people really curious about what's going on because it's a bit of a puzzle. Shelley Duvall's story takes on a different journey. She was a big deal in the 80s, starring in hits like Popeye and the super scary movie The Shining. Fast forward to now, and she looks quite different, which is normal since she's in her 70s. However, the bigger story is about how she pretty much disappeared from Hollywood. After 2002, she lived a very private life in Texas, away from all the attention. Shelley Duvall, famous for her roles in classic films, made a surprising return to the public eye in 2016 when she was on the Dr. Phil show. She talked about the mental health challenges she was facing, something that caught many people off guard because she had been out of the limelight for quite some time. During this television interview, Duvall mentioned feeling threatened by unspecified entities, showing how deeply she was struggling. The reaction to Duvall's appearance in the show was overwhelmingly negative, with many viewers and celebrities alike accusing Dr. Phil of exploiting her situation for the sake of entertainment and higher viewership numbers. Vivian Kubrick, the daughter of Stanley Kubrick, who directed Duvall in The Shining, was especially critical. She used social media to express her disgust at how Duvall was being used, calling the show's actions shameful and purely for shock value. Other well-known figures, including Mia Farrow and Pan Oswald, echoed these sentiments, emphasizing the need for respect and decency towards Duvall instead of making her a spectacle. In the aftermath of the conversational interview, there was a wave of support for Duvall. Vivian Kubrick even stated a fundraising campaign to help with Duvall's financial needs, aiming to provide her with a means for a better and healthier life. Reflecting on her experience with Dr. Phil years later, Duvall shared that her own family and partner had reservations about the interview, hinting at the personal toll and wider backlash the episode provoked. These stories about Daryl Hannah and Shelley Duvall gave us a peek behind the current of what life can be like for movie stars. It shows us that being famous isn't always as glamorous as it seems. Pamela Anderson became the ultimate symbol of the 90s, known for her stunning looks and memorable roles. Her journey to fame kicked off when she was featured as Playboy's Playmate of the month in February 1990. What's more, she's been on more Playboy covers than anyone else, but it wasn't just Playboy that made her a household name. Her role as CJ Parker in the head TV show Baywatch really put her in the spotlight. She became famous for her appearance in the iconic red bathing suit, changing how such roles were seen in Hollywood. Also in the 1990s, a very private video of Anderson and Tommy Lee was taken without their permission and shared with the world, becoming one of the most talked about violations of privacy involving celebrities. Someone broke into their house, stole the video, and then it was spread all over, even though Pamela and Tommy didn't agree to share it with anyone. 
This event became a key example of the problems with privacy, who gets to give permission for things and how the internet can make those issues even more complicated. The sharing of the video had a big impact on Pamela Anderson's life and her career. It forced parts of her private life to be seen by the public in a way she never said okay to. People started asking if it was even legal to share such private things without someone's okay and what kind of responsibility people have when they spread or look at these kinds of things. Pamela and Tommy fought hard in court to stop the video from being shared more, but despite their efforts, the video kept being passed around, showing just how hard it is to control something once it's out on the internet. The whole situation also made people talk more about how women are treated by the media, how people blame the victims of these privacy breaches, and how unfairly women and men are treated differently when these kinds of things happen. Pamela was criticized and judged by the public, sparking a worldwide discussion on the bigger issues of invading someone's privacy and sharing personal images without consent. Fast forward to the present, and Pamela's journey in the entertainment world hasn't slowed down. She even appeared in the Baywatch movie reboot in 2017, connecting the original show's fans with a newer audience. Time, however, moves forward for everyone, and at 53, Pamela shows signs of aging just like anyone else would. In recent photos, you can see the lines in her face that tell the story of her life in Hollywood, but she still rocks her classic look with dark eye makeup and blonde hair, showing confidence and style. There was quite a bit of talk online when Pamela seemed to look younger than ever at the Cannes Film Festival. This led people to wonder if she had help from cosmetic procedures. A plastic surgeon from London, Dr. Marino Joff, guessed that she might have had a few minor procedures done, like a mini facelift, cheek fillers, and Botox on her forehead to help maintain her youthful appearance. Even though Pamela Anderson might not be called Hollywood's top beauty nowadays, she still knows how to get everyone's attention. Her story from being a 90s icon to staying relevant in today's entertainment world shows how she's navigated the ups and downs of fame. She's adapted and changed over the years, keeping her signature style while also embracing the natural process of getting older. Pamela's ability to remain confident and true to herself, despite the pressures of the industry to stay young-looking, is really inspiring. Her journey highlights not just her successes and the challenges she's faced, but also her resilience and commitment to living life on her own terms. In the bright and sparkling world of fashion, Nicolette Sheridan stood out as a symbol of grace, beauty, and unique style. Her path took her from modeling and runways, where she charmed everyone with her elegance, to the shining scene of Hollywood, telling a story of big dreams and changing her life. Sheridan first tried acting with a part in the short-lived but memorable ABC primetime show, Paper Dolls, in 1984. This role laid the groundwork for a career that would make a significant impression in TV history. Her truly stunning work in the well-loved CBS series Knott's Landing shot her to fame. Playing her character on this show, Sheridan not only received high praises from critics, winning her two soap opera digest awards, but she also became beloved by many, becoming a familiar presence in households worldwide. However, the most defining role of her career was still ahead. Nicolet Sheridan became Edie Britt in Desperate Housewives bringing to life a character with a rich and vibrant story in Wisteria Lane. Edie was a real estate agent who had been married three times, noted for her sharp wit and lively personality. Sheridan's portrayal was highly acclaimed, earning her a nomination for a Golden Globe. Although she initially auditioned for a different part, Sheridan was cast as Edie, making the character memorable across five seasons until her character's dramatic exit caused by a car crash and a shocking electrocution. Off-screen, Sheridan's departure from the show was marked by disagreements and a legal fight with the show's creator. As Sheridan became more famous, people started talking and guessing about changes in her looks. Over time, it was clear that Sheridan had chosen to undergo cosmetic procedures. From facelifts, fillers for her face and lips, a chin implant, to nose work, Sheridan's quest for beauty had noticeably changed how she looked, especially when compared to her early days on Knott's Landing. This change sparked a lot of talk and opinions in plastic surgery circles and among her fans. The difference between the Sheridan people remembered from before and how she looked later became a fascinating subject. Both fans and observers were drawn to this part of Sheridan's life, leading to discussions about beauty, aging, and the pressure to keep up a certain image under the intense scrutiny of Hollywood. In the colorful and dynamic world of music during the 1990s, there was one star who really shone bright and captured everyone's attention, Lil' Kim. She wasn't just another American rapper. When her first album, Hardcore, came out, it didn't just make a small splash in the music scene, it was like a massive wave, becoming a huge critical hit. This album achieved double platinum status and sold over 6 million copies all around the globe. But Little Kim's influence stretched far beyond her music. She became known as a fashion leader, someone who wasn't afraid to wear bold and eye-catching outfits or dye her hair in vivid colors. She set many fashion trends of that era and made a lasting impression in the fashion world. Her daring fashion choices and unique style challenged what was considered normal at the time, making her a powerful example of female strength and the freedom to express oneself. 
However, as more people began to notice Lil' Kim, her life took several unexpected and dramatic twists. Despite reaching the peak of her career, she faced some serious challenges, including being sentenced to a year in prison in 2005, which showed how strong she really was. But what really got people talking was how her looks started to change around 1999. Lil' Kim began to alter her appearance in ways that both fascinated and confused her fans and the public. This change started off small with her wearing blue contact lenses and sporting blonde wigs, but soon, there were more significant and sometimes debated changes. People started speculating about her undergoing plastic surgery, getting her nose made thinner and other possible physical alterations. Each time she appeared in public, it seemed like she had gone through another change, adding more layers to her evolving appearance. When Lil' Kim showed up at the MTV Music Awards in 2013, her transformation had become so noticeable that it caused quite a stir. People were doing double takes and quietly asking each other, is that really her? But the moment that really shocked everyone was in 2016, when Little Kim posted a few selfies on Instagram, which she later removed that showed her with much lighter skin and very blonde hair. This led to a huge amount of speculation and discussion about whether she had undergone skin bleaching. Seeing Little Kim look so different from how she did in the 90s was startling and led to many discussions about the standards of beauty, racial identity, and the pressure that women, especially those in the limelight, face to meet certain beauty ideals.